oh, it's a block party. Hey, hey, it's a block party. Y'all did not think Mr. Reggie could dance. Hey, 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 hey. It oh, Miss Nastasha's not here. She's really the dance instructor. But you know why I'm excited, kids? Because it's a block party! It's a block party, and guess what? Not only are you invited, but also your friends. Remember last week when we talked about the, inscrib the inscribable God? Remember how we talked about creativity, imaginations, and we talked about the four men who helped out their friend in such a creative way? Did you, did you remember their imaginations they used to cut the roof open to bring down their friends who needed healing from Jesus? Well, guess what? We're going to talk more about friends this month at this block party. Huh. And you're wondering, why does Mr. Ramsey have these wonderful Balloons! Yeah, these balloons are so cool. Cause you're in my block party. I call it Stay Lit. I have the most awesome friends. I have the most awesome DJ. And guess who's the DJ? The Holy Ghost. <laughs> and guess who the host? Jesus, yeah! And guess who's my guest? God. Yeah, and guess who's my other family? You! So you get to come rock with me and this block party at my house with these beautiful balloons. But these balloons are gonna help us. We are gonna look forward into this whole block party for the next couple weeks, cause we're gonna talk about what it means to have fun at your party with your friends. Is it your birthday? Have you ever had a party before? What have you had at your party? Write in the comments below, tell Mr. Ramsey, what have you had? Until then, I want you to do something. I want you to come together Gather, 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 gather around that television, around your iPad. Maybe you're at your cousin's house. Bring all your cousins together. Sit down for a second because we're going to talk about this block party. I want you to come in, enjoy what Mr. Ramsey is getting ready to talk about. Because, man, God has an awesome song for you this week that's going to help you to dance through the week. Woo! Oh, did you do Dance through the week. Oh, did you see my move? Robot. Hey, hey, robot. Oh, oh, yeah. And Miss Dashi was here. She'd probably be hating on me. But don't tell her I told you that, please. Don't tell her, okay? If you tell her, you're gonna get kicked out of the party. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You. Mm -hmm. Don't look behind you. I see you. So you better pay attention because in my party, we like to have fun. In God's house, we like to have fun. This is the best party, block party you're ever gonna join. But listen, this week, do you know how important it is to work together? Do you know how important it is that when you're having a party, how your party is better when your friends are there, when your cousins are there, when your family are there? Hmm. Ah, let me see. Wow. You know what makes these balloons so beautiful? Not just because you see white, but you see yellow, you see blue, you see some strings. Everything looks good because they're working what? Together. Come on, say it with me. Together. One more time. Together. They're better when they work together. And what makes a party so awesome is when we get to have fun together. We get to dance to the song. We get to clap our hands. We get to, uh, uh, how they do it? Uh, uh, right? I think, uh, uh, yeah, uh, wait, what's the, what's the other thing? Oh, oh, I don't think Mr. Ramsey got it, but you get it. We do everything together. Whenever we do everything together, we do it better. And this is what God is telling us about friends. Friends are so important when it comes to a party because you do you put all these things together so your friends can what enjoy them. And I love this new uh, series that we're talking about this month of September. It's this big old block party where all your friends can come and have a good time because this is what God wants for us. God wants for us to have a good time together. He wants us to learn who he is. He wants us to experience the beautiful songs and the music that he has for us. 
See, friendship is so important. Why is friendship so important, Mr. Ramsey? Why was last week you were talking about the four men who were carrying the paralyzed man all the way to the top of the room, cut the hole, put him in, make sure Jesus healed him, the four men who could have just walked away and not do anything? Why are these friends so important? Well, they're important because God saw that they were going to be important for you and I. Let me tell you why friends are important. <sighs> you know, when you're having a party, you can't just celebrate by yourself. What makes these balloon, balloon, balloons so cool? They couldn't just do this by themselves. They needed a string. <gasps> Whoa. Did you see that? Everything that comes together works together for good. Without a string, guess what happens? The balloons will go what? Up in the air. And you will no longer see the balloon. But you have a string. And you also have a what? A weight at the bottom that holds everything together. And guess what? And now you see at my block party, I have my beautiful balloons all together. And doesn't it look better together? It does. But this is why friends are so important. Because all of your friends at your party, when they come celebrate with you, it changes everything at your party. It makes it much funner. It makes it cooler. It, there's so much that your friends bring to your party that you and I know that we love it when our friends show up. We know that friendship really matters to God. Why? Because Jesus is our what? Friend. There's a song that says, I am a friend of God, right? I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me what? He calls me friend. Jesus is your friend. And God really, really sees friendship so much that when he thinks about you, he thinks about you and see you as a friend. He wants us to be good friends to one another. You remember that saying that says, treat others how you want to be treated? Why is that so important? Because friends, when you have a relationship with friends, it's important how you treat your friends. When you're at your block party, it's important how you treat your friends, how you all have fun together. God is concerned about your friendship with your friends because he cares about your friends. He wants to have, he wants friend, he, he wants us to have friends around for support. You ever felt like you were down one day and you had a friend come and made you smile? Or when you were having that party and you were waiting to that 3.30, mom, 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 is my friend's coming, my friend's coming? And the first friend you see come out of that car, did that friend put a smile on your face? See, this is why God allowed us to have friends. This is why God created us in a way for us to have friends. Because friends can add things to our life that makes it even much better. Friends add so much to our party that at your party, you have so much fun that you want to wake up the next day and do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Friends are so cool. See, let me tell you about this, about friends. Friendship is such a big deal. You can't just look as though friends do not bring anything into your party. They do. The right friends do. But the first friend that you should always invite to the party is Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is the friend that will never let you down. Jesus is the friend that will never let you down. And it's so important because it's important for God. Let's talk about friends from the Bible because I love this book and it really breaks down the value of friends, not only at a block party, but also in your life. It says here, you got your phone? Do you got your Bible? If not, I'm away. Ba na 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 da na 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 da na 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 na. Okay, I think you have it now, right? If you do, all you have to do is click that like button. 
I'm joking. You don't have to click that button. Let's get into it. Let's go and ask your parents to tune in with you. Turn the pages right now to, are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you sure? Ecclesiastes, okay, chapter four. And we are going to read, here it is. We're going to read verse nine. You got it? It says here, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them fall down, one can help the other up. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. One can help the other up. And let me tell you, a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. See, a rope made from a different strand that are tied together, one strand by itself wouldn't be very strong. But with two strands, it's much stronger. A rope made with three strands, it's even stronger than that. So watch this. One of these ropes, right? If you see this here, this string. If I just have a string by itself, guess what? It would, this string would not be as strong. But if I take this string and this string and this string and this string, all these strings and add them together, guess what? It makes this stronger. Friendship is like that too. Two friends are better than what? One person alone. But it gets even better when you add a third friend. It's so important how, it's, how you have to work together. When you go to a party, you don't just invite one friend, you invite all your friends. Why? Because all of you want to have what? A good time together. Eat the cake together. Maybe go into, uh, what do they call those things? Um, the, uh, uh, let's see, uh, the swing or the um, bounce house. There it goes. Go into the bounce house together. Take off your shoes. Go in there and jump. Or maybe the water slide. Doing all these things by yourself would be so boring. Ba 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 ba. But when you do it together with friends, guess what happens? You have so much fun that the next day you wake up and say, Daddy, Mommy, or Uncle, Grandpa, Grandma, Auntie, Uncle, can you get another bounce house? Because you have so much fun when all your friends are together. What is Mr. Ramsey saying about this week? It's important to look at your friends and see who are truly your friends. What do they bring to your life? What do they add into your life? What do they bring to your party? What do you add to your party? Do you see yourself working together? Are you stronger together? God wants you to have friends, but he wants you to choose them carefully. Two are better than one. If one fall, the other one picks them up. Do you see your friend picking you up if you're having a bad day? Or are you that friend to pick up your friend if you see your friend having a bad day? You have to ask yourself this question. Because remember what I said earlier, friendship is important to God. So it should be important to you. Like I said, it should be. But I think in order for you to really understand how important your friends, look and see how you're treating your other friends. Because that's important to God. Remember what it said here in the Bible. And I'll read this to you. It says it in Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. But I like the second part though. But I'll read the first part. Verse 30 says, Love the, the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. But here's the most amazing part. Verse 31. The second is this. Love your neighbor as what? Yourself. Your friend is your neighbor. And God wants you to love your neighbor as yourself. Love your friend like you love yourself. 
God loves you. Jesus is the best friend we can ever have. But he wants you to show your friends how important they are to you. When they come to the party, that excitement you have, that's the excitement you should always have for your friends. I want you to repeat this after me. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. Say this again because this is your monthly verse that I want you to remember. A friend loves at all times. They are there to help when trouble comes. Proverbs 17, verse 17. Let's read it one more time. It's going to be on the screen. A friend loves at all times. And they are there to help when trouble comes. Proverbs 17, verse 17. I need you to make wise choices. Who are you going to invite to your block party and why? Think about that. I know you're saying, Mr. Ramsey, I'm young, I'm little. No matter what age you are, it is still your responsibility to choose the right friends to bring to your party the ones that are gonna make your party exciting, the ones that you can show around your, your house, play games with, but also share the love of God because you never know what they need. Remember, when one falls, the other one picked them up and you have the opportunity to pick up your friend or maybe your friend have the opportunity to pick you up. Now let's pray. Repeat after me, say, Dear God, I pray that you would help me to choose my friends wisely. I love the block party that I have. And I pray that all my friends would be able to come and have a good time. I believe and know that Jesus is my friend and that he will help me to make better choices with the friends that I have. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, guys. See you all next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like the YouTube channel, and click on that what? Bing! Notification. Follow God, love people, and change the city, kids. Love you.